Okay, everyone. Hands are ready at the back. If you've got a question, raise your hand and I'll come to you. We'll start with John. Hello. Thank you. How important was that victory today and what did you make of the a ah, great feeling. Obviously, you could sense, you know, it's been it's been so many years without beating them, and uh, and today we have beat, in my opinion, without a question, I doubt the best team in the world, and we've done it in a in a great way, you know, because there were moments that we have to suffer, but as well we have moments where we show real determination and and desire to and belief to beat them. So uh, really happy. Does it send a statement? Because as you say, it's been such a long time. Mm. You know, they're probably you know the team you. Well, it certainly sends a message to the team, you know, that keep believing in what they are doing. They are a fantastic group of players, um, the way they try, you know, the understanding and the chemistry that they have between them. You sense it and you need it to to be that. So today, again, really proud. I was proud on Wednesday when we lost the game and I'm really proud today as well to be part of, of that team. Good. Amy from Athletic. Hi, Mikhail. Hi. Um, there's been quite a lot of talk about Arsenal's team's quite emotional, but was the key today that it was controlled emotion? Yes, and uh, especially because there are certain moments that they are constantly question, asking questions and provoking you, you know, and and the crowd wants you to go and go and go. And uh, is the, what did the crowd they do? We don't go, and the crowd that we don't go, and the crowd that and we have to manage that, and uh, and we have to understand emotionally it's not easy, you know, and emotionally it's not easy to chase 15, 20 passes, and you have to be able to do that, and then have the courage to, to play because you don't want to play against this team, you just give the ball to them every single time and I thought their plays were excellent. Can I just ask you a bit about the uh, atmosphere in the dressing room? You know, the players maybe needed a moment like that. Did, how did you feel being back in there with them? Well, they were all dancing and super happy. They were international breaks. You know, the mood is, is always much better. They're going to have a few days off, the ones that they're not involved. And uh, I just sense everybody uh, till the next game against Chelsea away with, with the right spirit and the right emotion. And, uh, and it's great, so really happy. Well, I saw the obviously the the, the action live and um, and it looked you know uh, a big challenge. But uh, I haven't seen the replay. I'm not bothered now. Today, I just want to enjoy the win. Uh, I hear it. We will talk about it and uh, and understand it. We have to do something about it. But um, thankfully, we managed to win the game, as you said. Well, the players have to stand up there and, and, and execute against players that they are top quality and we give them something in the first two minutes with the corner and they almost score a goal. And you cannot give them anything. And uh, they can still earn it because they are top quality and they can produce those moments any moment. But we have discussed a lot about that. And uh, it is a stressful because they change it constantly. They change the spaces, rotations. They are constantly threatening you in certain areas and you have to be really, really aware of, of what they are doing to try to match it up. And with the ball as well, because they are provoking you with certain things, and you have to be patient. And, and for that bit today, it was tough because I knew that the crowd at some stage it could react like it. But it's what they demand them to do and what we needed to do. And we did it better than the second half, we did it much better. And I think it was really helpful. Nick, um, we've spoken for a long time about the run that you've had against City not winning. Do you get the impression, especially with the guys in, in there now, that a psychological barrier has, has lifted? Well, I don't know if it's, it was a barrier. Obviously, it's something that uh, we needed to go through. You know, to be the first, we have to lose against them. We have to lose probably the way we lost uh, at the Etihad because we lost in two different ways last season here when we were the better team, especially in the in the first half, and then we conceded the goal when on the back pass of Tomayas on the Bruyne scoring. But uh, the team showed that real maturity today. That maturity comes from experiences, and uh, and something you need that to to become a better team. I just told him that. <laughs> they told me, you know, they put Doku there in the first moment after they changed him to to the other side, and we made the changes straight away. And uh, and then I see him as a left winger and chasing the keeper. And uh, yeah, they brought. To be fair, the shots were excellent again. They got involved in in the goal, but they brought so much uh, physicality and and so much energy and quality to the team. No, he could not make it. He hasn't had a single training session, so he will be out. He's not going to be in the English squad. No, he's not available to play football at the moment. Yeah. And can I just ask about the 
end there was just a flash of green from the dual start from the Man City player. Do you know what happened if that's No, I haven't seen this. Okay, last couple will go to um, Isan for the day now. Martinelli, obviously, long had a big impact on the side. He was fantastic today. What transition did he make off the bench? Obviously, he scored the winning goal there too. Well, he's been saying for a few weeks I'm going to be there against City. And obviously everybody was saying, Gabby, will be too early for you. And yesterday he said, boss, I told you, I'm going to be ready for this. And it happened that Leo, after 30 minutes, he felt something in his hamstring. So when I turned around, he was already ready to go with his kids. <laughs> you know, boss, I'm ready to go. So it's just a joy of a kid. His mentality is incredible at his age. And uh, it's just a joy to have him because today he could change the game and he was really helpful for us to win the game. It's my fault, all my fault. So they can boo me because I ask him to do that, and especially against this team, you start to do all the things and you get in big, big, big trouble. And uh, I think he was excellent. I think the way he dominated his box, uh, the way he came up for crosses and set pieces, the height that he played, he's got big ones because with the crowd going like this, other players, I've seen it, they start to kick balls everywhere. And I said to him, you don't do that, make sure you don't do it. And he didn't do it. And at the end, he got rewarded because the team he started to play much better the game that we wanted to play, so big compliment to him. And finally, we'll go to Nick from Hayes. I was going to ask a similar question, but as a team, you defended <coughs> exceptionally. It was a rare clean sheet for home, isn't it? What, what <laughs> I was thinking about that in the 90-second minutes, the two to go. We haven't had that many. And against the best team in the world, we managed to do it. I think the application and the love for defending today that, that we needed was there in every player. And um, yeah, it was, it was a, a necessity. You know, you consider against them afterwards is extremely difficult because they don't give much away. So really important. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.